First, you're going to press Shift A, go to Mesh, Icosphere, give it five subdivisions, and then right click and shade smooth. Then you can select your camera, go to your camera settings, and switch the focal length to a 102. That gives you a nice up close view of the mesh. Then go over here to the rendered mode and then uncheck scene world. And you can use the pre built in HDRI of the indoor studio light that Blender has. Then, if you're in EV, check ambient inclusion, bloom, and screen space reflections, then you're good to go. Then head over here to the shading workspace and set up your workspace something like this and go to rendered preview. Then, with your icosphere selected, press new and you can call it aluminum foil like so. Then you're gonna press Shift A, search, and go to a noise texture, like this. Then make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, so go to Edit Preferences and search up the Node Wrangler add-on. Then with this selected, press Control T, and then move the texture coordinate object into the vector mapping. Then you can Control Shift and left click on this noise texture to preview it, and you wanna switch the scale to a two, the detail to a 10, and leave everything else as it is. Next, you're going to factor this into the bump. So press Shift A, search for a bump node, place it about down here, take the factor from the noise texture into the height of the bump node, then take the normal from the bump into the shader, then switch the strength to a 0.25. Then go on your shader and take the metallic and set it all the way to a one. Then you're going to want to hit Shift A and add a color ramp then take the factor from the noise texture into the color ramp and change the black to a 0.15 on the value scale and change the white to a 0.45 on the value scale. Then plug the color from this into the roughness. Then all we have to do is change the color now. So go to your base color, go to the hex value. The color is D2D9DB and that is d 2 d 9 db like that and then you have your aluminum foil color then if you control shift and left click your your shader here you now have the finished material and you can go back to your layout and you have everything as it should be thanks for watching this tutorial hopefully this material will be useful for you anyways i'll see you in the next one